Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with the Let's Talk Money channel, and I'll be the first to admit, for the most part, side hustle videos here on YouTube suck. You see side gig ideas like walking dogs or blogging or even rent out your pool. Between crap pay and just plain bizarre ideas, most aren't gonna make you any money. So in this video, I'm highlighting the seven best side hustle ideas worth your time and that actually work to make you extra cash. I'll show you how to start each, how much you can make, and towards the end of the video, I'll show you a step-by-step -step strategy to combine these with passive income sources to keep making money even when you stop working. So make sure you stick around for that. We're getting started right now, but you know I gotta send a special shout out to all you out there in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Before we get to that list though, I wanted to share some criteria I used for these side hustle ideas because I think one of the biggest problems with all these side gig or work from home videos is there's no definition. So people just spam out any idea they've seen online. For legit side hustles though, I looked for jobs that would make you money immediately. I love my online business, but it was almost a year before I made any money at all and two years before it was a full-time income. Building a business or a passive income stream is totally different than needing that cash right now and it's gonna be in different jobs. Also, legit side hustles shouldn't require special skills or experience. Honestly, the idea the average person could just flip on their computer and design an app for quick cash is just ridiculous. I also looked for ideas that are reoccurring, things that you can do every week to make that extra cash. And we're not talking about recycling your smartphone because yeah, how many smartphones are you gonna have? These are also gonna be side jobs you can do in your free time and on your schedule. If you wanted a part-time job, you would have searched for that on YouTube. These are ideas that you can take, hustle when you can, and make that money. And finally, these side hustle ideas are more than just that manual work. Now, nothing against getting my hands dirty for some extra cash, but do you really need me to tell you that you can mow lawns to make money? Now onto that list and how to get started in each, but I wanna throw this out to the community. What's your favorite side hustle from the list? And what do you think are the pros and the cons of each? I'd love to hear your story about some of these side hustle ideas, so scroll down and let us know in the comments below. This first side hustle idea is totally digital and really easy to set up, becoming an online investigator. As an online private detective, you'll research people on the web and across social media. You'll set up dummy accounts on Facebook to friend people and then track what they post. You might research a client to see what comes up in a Google search and then help them manage their online reputation. Online detectives make an average of $51,000 a year or about 35 bucks an hour and this is one you can easily do in five to 10 hours a week in your free time. You can set up a simple website to advertise your side hustle and then be ready to go within half an hour. And like most side hustle jobs, your best clients are gonna come from word of mouth, but until that starts to pick up, you can get customers by posting on Facebook, LinkedIn, or some of these other social platforms. Our next side hustle idea is one of the weirder ones on the list, but it so works getting ordained and conducting wedding ceremonies. There are more than 2.4 million weddings every year in the United States alone, and at an average of $22,000 spent on each, that's a $52 billion market with fees for officiating starting at $300. And even better with this one, you can bundle your services. So maybe offer to provide multiple services like DJing, which starts at $1,000 or catering the event. The money is there, you just need to know how to get it. Getting started here just means checking with your local county clerk for rules on officiating ceremonies. In some states, you'll need to register. Uh, some will recognize online ordained certificates, while others you might need to take a local course. But remember here, you're performing a legal marriage and that's gonna affect the couple's insurance, home ownership, taxes, a lot of things in their life. So take the time to do this right. For example, New York recognizes those online ordained officials, though you still have to register with the New York Marriage Bureau and pay a $15 fee. Now marketing for this one is one of the easiest side hustles in the list because it's all local, which means you can really dominate Google for those local searches. You'll learn how to conduct a wedding, meet with the couples to plan and rehearse. The average fee for a wedding official is between $300 to $500 and takes around $500 for planning and the ceremony. Offer a few other services though, and this one could easily be a few grand a month. This next side hustle idea, I didn't even know was legal at first, but creating clips channels on YouTube. If you spend any time on YouTube, you see your shares of videos that are just those collection of video clips. Search for anything like animal videos and you see these gets millions of views and channels have millions of subscribers. So while the rest of us yahoos are busting our butts, spending hours creating videos and editing, these channels are proving the rule of working smarter, not harder. Just look at this Tiger Productions channel, which looks like it's just a bunch of kids and pet videos. They've got over 2.8 million subscribers and over a billion views. So even at that low end of ad rates, we're probably talking about $3 million in ads on this channel. 
And you can see some of these videos are just insane. 22 million views, 52 million, 134 million views. Now, I actually thought these compilation videos were against YouTube rules at first because all they're doing is copying other videos. Turns out this is a legit strategy called Creative Commons. When you upload a video to YouTube, you can either restrict its usage or put it under Creative Commons, which means anyone else can use it. So these compilation channels are just repackaging other videos for their own, getting millions of views and making boatloads of money in the process. So let's run through an example to show you just how easy it can be to make one of these videos and make money this way. Say you want to do a funny cat video, because if there's one thing that always goes viral, it's funny cat videos. So you type in your search, uh, you see some videos pop up, and then you go to this filter and click on that Creative Commons under the features. Now you can click through to any of these videos, and if you look in the description, you'll usually see Creative Commons reuse allowed. The process for grabbing some of these videos for your own channel is super easy as well. Now one thing though is that you want to create compilation videos, so clips from different videos. You don't want to just grab one video and upload it as your own. You're going to be putting several clips together in the same topic just to make your own super video that's going to get those millions of views. After you do a search for the videos you want and you want to copy down the URL address for each, then you can do a Google search for YouTube to MP4 converter, which is going to snatch the video file and then download it to your computer. And with these full videos, you can use any editing software to cut the clips and put them all together in one video. I use Camtasia, but there's also a lot of free video editing programs that you can use. Uh, you want to cut the clips out, maybe add some graphics like a countdown and other graphics. And that's it. It takes all of a couple of hours to download, edit, and then re-upload these videos, and you'll start making money on each immediately. For reference, I made just over $106,000 over the last year on YouTube ads alone, and that's just on 8.5 million views, something you can do on a single video for some of these clip channels. We've still got four more side hustle ideas to go, including two of my favorite, but while you're here, head on over and join the Let's Talk Money community on Instagram. I'm sharing motivational quotes, investing advice, and a personal side I don't get to show here on the channel. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you over there. I'll leave a link in the video description below, or just go to Instagram and look for Let's Talk Money underscore Joseph Hogue. This next side gig is also completely online and even easier to get clients, being an online agent for influencers and bloggers. There are more than 31 million YouTube channels and at least 500 million blogs, and that doesn't even count all the Instagram influencers, the TikToks, and, well, everyone's trying to make money on social these days. And all those people, they're even worse at business than they are at making asses out of themselves online. They have no idea when it comes to connecting with sponsors or affiliate deals or how influencers actually make money. Your job then as a digital agent is to connect them with those deals, be the middleman for those sponsorships, and collect your 10%. And this is easier than you might think to get started. First, you put together a list of the sponsors and the affiliate products that other influencers are promoting. Usually this works best if you focus on one specific group like beauty or fashion or personal finance. That's going to make it easier to start those connections with the businesses and the influencers in that niche. So you visit the blogs and the YouTube channels in that niche, see what products people are promoting. You can also go to affiliate networks like CJ Affiliates for businesses willing to work with those influencers on a commission basis. Now once you've got that list down, then you make another list of the influencers. So all the bloggers and the YouTubers, the Instagrammers in that niche. With your two lists, it's just a matter of reaching out to each, making those connections, and then signing the influencers to the deals. You'll make the standard 10% commission, and sponsorships here can range anywhere from a few hundred to tens of thousands of dollars, which means you only need a few clients to make good money at this. Probably the easiest side hustle in the list, and I was surprised how much I made when I was trying this out testing websites and apps through sites like user testing and what users do. So companies need to make sure their websites and their apps are doing exactly what they should. They need to test out the look, all the pages, and the forms. They contract with these testing sites to have people go through the website or the app and basically just use it like a regular visitor. After signing up on a testing site as a user, which takes all of about five minutes, you download their software so it tracks which tasks you're going to do and records your feedback. Then you get these tasks, whether it's to go to a website or, or watch a video and try out an app. After that, you just talk about your experience, leaving your feedback through voice recording so there's very little typing needed here. 
It's just giving your opinion on a site or an app that you've used. Requirements are pretty easy here too. You need to be just 18 years old, have an internet connection and a microphone and the ability to download their user test software on your computer. What I love about these sites, the user testing and what users do, they are really transparent about how much money you can make. We've all seen those vague promises with online surveys about making lots of money and then it comes down to like three bucks an hour. User testing pays you $10 for every 20 minute video you complete and it ends up being about another 10 minutes to complete the tasks and give your feedback. But that's still gonna be around $15 to $20 an hour that you can make on these which is really good for something that, that basically requires no experience or no skills. What users do pays about $5 per test which generally takes about 10 to 15 minutes so it comes out to be about the same on a per hour basis. Both sites are gonna pay you by PayPal for each task and usually get paid around seven days after completing each test case. I love this next side hustle idea because it's such a new gig that the competition is much easier, being a social media manager. A social media manager is just someone that helps businesses, bloggers, anyone that wants to be a social media influencer helps them manage their accounts on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, wherever. That's gonna include things like writing out and scheduling posts, uh, finding graphics, or creating questions to engage with their community. And if you think about this for a second, you'll see why it's such an amazing opportunity. First, nearly everyone has some experience on social media, right? This isn't like saying become a computer programmer when many people have no idea what a programmer does. Even Betty White has 1.5 million followers on her Instagram account. So this is something truly anyone can do and there are no educational requirements for it, but it's also one of the fastest growing jobs out there. Now the Bureau of Labor Statistics reports social managers make an average $56,000 a year and tag the job with a growth rate of 8% a year but that's just because they lump it in with that traditional marketing manager's job. Nation, as an online entrepreneur for the last six years, I can tell you this hustle is growing a hell of a lot faster than that. Why? Because every report of some Kardashian or PewDiePie making half a million dollars on each single post, more people start looking at a social media influencer as a legit career. In a recent Harris poll, American and British kids said they wanted to be a YouTube star more than anything else not astronauts, not teachers, and social media stars. So combine that with the fact that all online and offline businesses need that social media presence, but they just don't have the time to manage multiple social media accounts, and the business of managing all this is huge. And getting started is really easy here too. You're gonna need a website to show off your work and get those potential customers through Google traffic. You'll first have to decide whether you wanna manage accounts across a group of platforms, so maybe Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and, and LinkedIn, or if you wanna just specialize in just working on one platform. Now this is a business, and it can be as complex as any other, but honestly, you can pick up 90% of how to do this in less than a week. Learn how to use some of those social media management tools out there, like Buffer or Tailwind, that lets you schedule those posts and manage multiple accounts. Within a week, you can easily have enough knowledge to start your own social media management business. Now you'll wanna get a few initial accounts at a discount so you can prove your experience. Find some blogger groups on Facebook or go to the conferences that look for people that need help with their social accounts. Then you just start posting your experiences and your articles on your blog, getting that traffic from Google for people searching for how to grow their social media profiles and looking for someone to help. Our next side hustle idea is a new one, one I haven't tried yet but I've heard a lot about making money through Amazon's Mechanical Turk. Mechanical Turk is a website for jobs that require that human intelligence. Things AI and computers just can't do, like identifying objects in a picture, uh, transcribing, and researching details. Companies sign up and then request tasks, and most of these tasks take all of less than five minutes. You sign up to the site and get qualified to do different task categories. Now requesters usually have an allotted time frame that they need these tasks done, so you can check back the website once a day to get a few more tasks just for a couple hours of work. Companies pay for those tasks completed on a monthly basis and then submit the payments to Amazon. Amazon's gonna take a percentage from what the company pays and then passes the rest onto your account. Now this one isn't gonna make you rich. Most of these tasks are really basic and the pay is just above online surveys, so maybe you're making about five bucks an hour or a little bit more. Still, this is something that you can do in an hour or two when you're not doing anything and you just wanna make that extra cash. Now you've got those seven side hustle ideas, but the question you've gotta ask yourself is, do you really wanna be working the rest of your life? I mean, these are some great side gigs and will make you fast cash, 
but you have to constantly be working for it. So I wanna share a three-step strategy for combining these extra income ideas with some of the passive income streams that we talked about recently. Income sources that will pay you even when you stop working. And I love this strategy. We've never talked about this on the channel, but this is really life-changing because it combines that immediate cash from these side hustles with that longer-term income streams. The first step here is to watch that passive income video that I'll link in the description and at the end of this video. Then with those seven income ideas, you're gonna pick one that naturally combines with your side hustle. For example, passive income streams like selling bundle deals online or a virtual conference, those are gonna work great along with social media side hustles or the Etsy collective because you're already creating that network of influencers and creatives. From there, it's just a matter of pitching them to join your bundle deal or your conference idea for that passive income. The next step is gonna be using some of your side hustle income to invest in freelancers that are gonna help you set up those passive income streams. We talked in our passive income video about the downside to most of those income sources, and that's just that they take so much time to get set up to get that cash flow going, and there's a learning curve to get started. Well, these side hustles in this video, they take no special skills. You can get started making money now and use that for the courses that you need or just to get that set up help for these passive income sources. You're effectively turning your side hustle into a long-term stream of passive income. Third here is to use both of these at the same time to save money on your taxes. Now, since that money is coming in immediately on these side hustles, you're gonna be paying more taxes this year, but you can offset that with money you spend to launch your passive income sources. So just make sure you keep all your receipts, including all the equipment you buy, the software, whatever you spend. With a little planning, you can pay no taxes on your side hustle income and have a passive source of cash ready to go. Click on the video to the right for those 10 passive income ideas. It's the perfect complement to these side hustle ideas and will keep that cash flowing. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.